What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Retro Aviation. Hope you guys have a fantastic day today, and today I have a very exciting video for you guys. Today I have a comprehensive roundup of Spot LAX and Cranky Dork Fest 2023, and everything you need to know about this incredible plane spotting event. I really hope you guys are excited for today's video, and without any further delay, let's go ahead and get started, everybody. So, Spot LAX and Cranky Dork Fest, man, what an honor it was to attend this incredible event. First and foremost, I just can't thank each and every person enough that helps contribute to this event. People such such as NYC Aviation, Airline Videos, JetTip.net, Cranky Flyer himself, and uh, jet, uh, jet Set Shirts, and everybody else in between, the H Hotel, the Los Angeles International Airport, the in and out by 24 Right. Really can't thank everybody enough. Uh, we'll get into the details about everything you need to know about Spot LAX in this video and Cranky Dork Fest, of course. It's just really cool to see everybody coming together, and this was quite a unique aviation event. Um, you know, obviously a really vanilla type structure with it all being plane spotter related, but once you get all the bonding going, it just really adds up really fast, and that's what we'll talk about in today's video. So, Spot LAX 2023, let's talk about it. So, I was not sure if I was gonna be able to go till about uh, a couple weeks ago, which is kind of funny. Uh, it was actually um, when uh, my friend Sean Dot Spotting told me about it through word of mouth. This is how I heard about Spot LAX and Cranky Dork Fest. He said that he went in 2022, had a great time, and uh, that he was uh, going to be going again. So I was like, man, this could start to become real because, you know, obviously I've had a really big summer. And uh, over the last couple summers, I've been fortunate enough to save quite a bit of money. So I was able to really go all out this summer after finally getting back to a good health structure after some illness. And uh, yeah, so this all really started to add up really quick because I started looking at flights and accommodations in Allegiant Air with a $150 ticket round trip to Los Angeles from Tulsa. It made this uh, really start to become realistic really quick. Uh, if you don't know, that's a really good price out of Tulsa particularly, but for most people, any ticket for a $150 round trip for the most part is exceptional. So it's like, this is starting to become, <laughs> this is starting to get real, really fast. And before you knew it, I was ticketed to Spot LAX 2023 and I couldn't be more excited. Now, I've never formally spotted at uh, Los Angeles before. I got to do some wishy-washy spotting during a family trip, but that was all the way back in 2016. I didn't even have a 100 to 150 to 600 lens yet. So I was like, this is gonna be the real deal. And man, it certainly was. So let's talk about a quick summary of what Spot LAX first uh, is so that each and every one of you know before I go into explaining it, and then we'll talk about everything that you need to know about it. So Spot LAX is an event that takes place over a uh, weekend in September. This was the 10th annual one, and it pretty much is what the name implies. You literally spot LAX, which is super cool. So a huge group of people, I would say probably about five to 600 people come came together this previous weekend, uh, September 8th, 9th, and 10th of 2023, to plane spot all around LAX. So it's a really cool structure. So like I said, it's a very simple structure in regards to that the main subject of this weekend is all plane spotting around Los Angeles, but of course they add some really good depth to it. So uh, they start off on Friday night by hosting a rooftop party to uh, you know start the event and plane spot on top of the H Hotel roof at Los Angeles International Airport. It's an exceptional view. It is super awesome. I mean, it is just elite. I'll show you guys a little bit more detail. Here's a picture of it right here of this Korean Air A380. You get a really cool view and I'll try to put some B-roll on the screen right now where you can see just how cool of a view it is. And I also have this article here by um, uh, NYC Aviation that you can see what this really looks like. So let me see if I can scroll down here to give you a cool view. So here's what the rooftop looks like. I know it's not the best illustration. There might be a better picture up here. Here's what another picture of California One landing right here. Let me see if I can zoom this in a little bit. So everybody can see it a little bit better, but it is truly a surreal view and it's a great place to hang out. It's truly a vibe. So that started at four o'clock local time and went till nine o'clock. And it was so cool to just uh, hang out with everybody and talk. Um, similar to uh, Airliners International 2023, and 2022. I didn't end up getting to do very much plane spotting because of how much I ended up talking, and that was kind of ironic. I uh, got to see Star Alliance, man, again, great guy. Can't recommend him enough to check out his channel. And everybody in between, uh, Airline Video, NYC Aviations, you name it, uh, it was super, super cool. So that was a great time. Really enjoyed the rooftop opening, and that was so much fun. And then on Saturday morning, we went back up to the H Hotel to uh, do some plane spotting before Cranky Dork Fest 2023, and this is how really all this got kicked off. So Cranky Dork Fest, is a gathering of aviation enthusiasts right under runway 24 right at Los Angeles. Um, I would say that there was probably three or 400 people. There were several, but a huge group of aviation enthusiasts gathered under 24 right, right next to the in and out right there. And everybody just has a good time, hangs out, uh, talks to everybody, watches the planes. And there was a bunch of really fun uh, activities going on during that event. So uh, during that, uh, airline videos came together with Cranky Dork Fest and they, uh, or sorry, with Cranky Flyer, excuse me. There's a bunch of crankies going on here. 
everybody's cranky, right? I'm kidding. But uh, they all came together to do a raffle. They also did a raffle on top of the H Hotel, which was super cool. That was really fun. It was so fun to cheer everybody on when they were winning items. Uh, they gave away several models. Uh, they gave away United, um, a United uh, Ops tour at your local airport. That was really cool. They gave away some flight vouchers, I believe. It was really fun to see everything they gave away. Plenty of merchandise. That was super fun. So that was really cool to see. And then just get to talk with everybody, got to meet up with so many great people. Cranky Dork Fest, so much fun. You can't go wrong with the A380 landing right over your head. I mean, that just speaks for itself. So that was super fun. Really get, great to get to meet so many people. And I appreciate each and every one of you that came up to say hi to me. That was super nice of you guys. So that was really fun and thoroughly enjoyed that as well. And then uh, during the evening of uh, Saturday, we went to Proud Bird. Proud Bird is an awesome restaurant situated next to the 25 Arrival Path. And we got to see a bunch of really cool planes land and also get to have dinner there. So that was really fun. Really enjoyed that really cool facility and uh, really fun to change it up you know one of the coolest parts about spot lax in my opinion is that you get a full scope of all the airport operations so obviously um during the first part of the event we got to see a bunch of the two fours and then during the second half of the event we got to see a bunch of the two fives so obviously two fives has a bunch of the cargo traffic some of the various heavies along with you know some of the uh, united and some different airlines there too so that was really fun so got to do a bunch of that that was really cool thoroughly enjoyed that and uh, proud bird was super fun that night and i'll show you a little uh summary write-up as well for a different uh visual uh, visual view of what we're talking about here and then on sunday morning we all gathered at the hill which was super fun uh that's right in the middle of 25 so that was really cool we got to see a bunch of really cool planes the alaska new salmon livery JetBlue nypd uh america west 8 through 19 that was one of its that was its last day at los angeles so how cool was that uh really enjoyed that uh the latam star wars of course yes that was super fun plenty of cargo traffic a bunch of really cool planes a bunch of 757s a bunch of heavy aircraft really fun and that was absolutely great and a huge thank you to jet tip for sponsoring that portion of the event as well he brought in um, as he always does the donuts that was really cool really appreciate him doing that and being such a huge uh uh making such a huge contribution to spot lex great guy can't recommend uh checking out what he does enough and uh, definitely get you a jet tip subscription it has saved me so many times and uh his purpose with that uh service is really really cool so can't recommend that enough and then we got to do some uh various plane spotting to round out the event on sunday super fun I got to check out the bridge on the north side of the airport by the two fours again. That was really cool. Really enjoyed that and some really cool views to come of that as well. So let's talk about it in a visual summary here since uh, I was just referring to this over here. So here's a little visual um, and I'll actually uh, just kind of go through everything that I said here in my um, text write up about it on Instagram. So again, huge thank you to NYC Aviation, Airline Videos, JetTep.net, Cranky Flyer, Jet Sets shirts, everybody else that contributed. It's really cool. One of the coolest parts about Spot LAX, in my opinion, is it's not just one person, of course, it's multiple people uh, contributing evenly to making this event incredible. And I think that's just so cool to see everybody come together. Like we talked about NYC Aviation with the organization part of it, airline videos, of course, documenting it and sharing it with the world. Jet Tip providing his service so that you can get uh, good aircraft um, when they come in, obviously. So you get notified. Cranky Flyer, of course, hosting Cranky Dork Fest. Jet shirts, um, jet set shirts, excuse me, making the shirts for uh, Spot LAX. They're really cool. That was really nice to get one of those. So I really enjoyed that. And then of course, all the various airlines that contributed to the raffles. Then you have, I was thinking of something else. Uh, Flight Radar 24 was there. That was really cool to get to see some of their employees and get to interact there. And just all the various aviation enthusiasts that came together to interact. I mean, it was so fun. I got to meet so many great people and uh, everybody had the same mindset. You know, we're there to have a good time. We're there to interact, talk about what we love, do what we love, interact. And uh, it's just so cool. So that was awesome. So let's talk about some of these pictures here. If, okay, I guess I can't get the zoom in, so I apologize. Hopefully it's big enough. But nevertheless, here's the H Hotel rooftop. Oh, there, that might have been the reason. Okay, sorry, I wasn't. Um, I was on my other monitor, so uh, I got the best of me there. But here's the Kariner A380 landing from the H Hotel. So it's really cool. You get that downtown view of Burbank there. You can also see downtown Los Angeles on the other side. So that was really cool. And then here's a video of the H Hotel rooftop. Uh, let's let's not get too excited here. H Hotel Rooftop. So here's a really cool video of it. I'll let it play a couple times. So uh, you can see all the concourses here for Delta and Southwest from there. There's the airline video set up. There's the raffle to gave away like 20, one to 200 models. That was so cool. And uh, everybody gathering around just having a good time. It was so much fun. Weather was so good. It was just, it's a vibe. I can't say it any other way. It was really special. Here's a view from uh, obviously a Cranky Dork Fest and uh, in and out I mean, I don't need to elaborate on that. Watching planes fly over your head all day, every day. That can't get old. And 
and uh, sorry that I cut off in this video, but the airline video setup was there. That was sweet. There's the in and out itself, and you can see everybody interacting, having a good time, then getting distracted by watching the planes. That was probably the funnest part of the raffle, to be honest, was not only cheering on for people when they won items, but also uh, the planes interrupting. It was really cool. So it was like, sponsored by American, sponsored by United. You know, obviously joking, of course, but that was really fun. Here's a really cool picture of the Latam 777-300 that came in on Sunday morning from the hill. That was really fun. And then here is a video from the Northside Bridge overlooking T-Bit. And then of course the Delta and Southwest stops here. And then we get a plane taken off, I think here in a second. Yeah, there goes Southwest. And I think we have something landing. United 75 maybe, was that what it was? Yes, indeed. So that was really cool and uh, great views at LAX. And then here's a really cool picture of this 350 landing on 24 right. Uh, that was awesome, really great. And I uh, very much appreciate Los Angeles uh, keeping 24 right open, whether it was for Spot LAX intended or not. Uh, they, I think they just closed the runway and they're gonna be uh, working on that throughout the whole fall. So appreciate them uh, considering us if that was the reason that stayed open indeed. Here's a really nice group picture of Proudbirds. So a bunch of great people in this picture. I uh, appreciate everybody hanging out. And this was just the the the, um, the group that stayed a long time. The event ended at like, I think eight o'clock, even though it wasn't scheduled to go that long, but this was like at 9.30 or 10. So this was really cool. So great group, really enjoyed hanging out with all these guys, it was so fun. Last time seeing the Alaska A321 Neos, of course, they're getting retired at the end of the month. So of course that was one of the big storylines of Spot LAX 2023. So here's the more to love edition uh, landing here on runway 25 right, it was really nice. I got to see it on the hard stand taking off as we left coming back to Tulsa, that was really special. So last time seeing the Alaska Neos, most likely great planes. Uh, I'm really fortunate that I got to capture them as many times as I did. And uh, they're great planes. So certainly an interesting story going all Boeing out of nowhere like that. Well, not out of nowhere, but you know, after having brand new planes, but what can you do? And then of course, here's a really cool picture from the top of the H Hotel rooftop. So this picture really does it justice for what kind of vibe you're gonna get. So of course, everybody gathered around to watch the raffle. Here's the Southwest Concourse, the Delta Concourse, really pretty. It just, it's so cool up there. You can see everything. I mean, it, it's simply like, if you like planes, planes are always landing or taking off. And then of course you get the view of all of Los Angeles. I mean, it's just, it's so cool. I, I can't, I can't say enough about it. It's so cool. And then uh, one final picture of here, of course, this Delta 321 Neo rocking into the sunset here at Los Angeles on Sunday was really a perfect way to conclude this event. And I uh, can't speak enough of how cool that was and how fun that was. So that was really cool. Uh, here's the visual summary. So here's all the different places at LAX. We'll just go over it real quick. And one of the coolest parts about this is that you can hit up all these spots during Spot LAX and several of them are integrated into the event itself. So Imperial Hill, we talked about that on Sunday morning. That was a new addition to the event this year. I thought it was great. In and Out Burger and Park Across the Street. Yes and yes. Proud Bird, it's a great spot. Really, really fun. Um, this Boulevard's also a really cool spot. Uh, I did not get to try it myself, but it looked really good. Westchester Parkway Bridge is where I was showing you pictures of just then. It's a great bridge and you can get a bunch of really cool views. Uh, Lincoln Villabard's also another cool spot. It's east of where the bridge is. I've not got to go there before, but I absolutely would love to. The H Hotel rooftop roof deck might be the coolest spot on the airport to be honest it's got such a great view great vantage point it's awesome uh, i don't know very much about this spot at all vista del mar i think that's uh over there on the other side two fives or two fours somewhere around there but that's really cool so and yeah this talks about um the event at spot lax which is really cool so the big spot lax event uh starts right here at 4 p.m with the rooftop opening as i talked about and then you can do morning spotting i recommend uh h hotel but you can do it anywhere you want cranky dork fest great time and then it's cool because I really like it because there's enough structure and enough events uh, to where it's ideal to interact with everybody and everybody comes together. But then there's also times of the day where you can uh, pick some different spots and take a break if you need to. That's one of the coolest parts about it. So uh, for example, Sean and I, we went to the Plains of Fame Museum on Sunday during the break. That was ideal. Uh, we also got to go to the Griffin Memorial. That was really fun during Saturday. So, you know, we picked some, you know, uh, and we uh, had a, he wanted to do a little bit more, um, uh, sightseeing than I did. I probably would have stayed at the airport to be honest, but that's okay. You know, everybody comes together and finds balance and that's what's super important. And that's what Spot LAX gives you is plenty of opportunity to do that. Uh, and then here's, uh, okay, it was 8.30. Never mind. It was supposed to go to 8.30. I apologize. I didn't even look. I was having so much fun. So uh, yes, uh, Proud Bird, really fun dinner. Great raffle. I really appreciate everybody that donated to that. That was super cool. And then here we go for donuts on the hill, not the deck. It was on the deck. Now it's on the hill, which I think is a really great, um, 
a really great uh, use of the uh, time there. So that's really cool. We had the Scraggler meetup. That was fun on West Church Park Bridge. And uh, yes, just really, really fun. So yeah, Spot LAX is awesome. Uh, if you want a really cool documentation uh, version or, you know, really cool documentation of how you can see Spot LAX in its finest, Airline Videos is the place to go. They did a bunch of awesome live streams for hours, literally. I mean, just the, the duration of this is awesome. And I can't thank Rudy and Kevin enough for what they do. They're great guys, uh, really good purpose. And uh, they have really great content on here. So of course they documented uh, Cranky Dork Fest, The Hill, H Hotel uh, opening party. It was so fun. I can't thank them enough for what they've done. Um, really impressive uh, operation they have and they really cover a bunch of great content. So I can't thank them enough for what they've done and it's super, super cool. So Spot LEX is an annual event. Like I said, this is not just a one and done, which is the exciting news. 2024 will be taking place. Uh, well, we should be getting dates very soon, but it'll either be probably the second or third weekend in September of 2024. I will absolutely do everything I can to be there. I'm currently planning to. Uh, it should work out just fine, so I'm looking very forward to it. Uh, Spot LAX will be becoming a new uh, annual event that I'll be attending, which I'm really excited about. So Airliners International and um, uh, uh, Spot LAX will be my big two, and then hopefully Oshkosh as well. We will see what happens there, but uh, certainly Airliners International, Spot LAX. Um, and yeah, Spot LAX, like I said, the really cool part about it, in my opinion, is that it's so fundamentally based on plane spotting that it works so well, but in conjunction with obviously having plenty of variety because you can check out any spot that you want. You can go to a different sightseeing location during the day if you want during the breaks. You know, it's so great. It's a really awesome stretcher. And again, the generosity of so many people to donate for the raffle and obviously being so kind. Um, it just speaks volumes and it's super cool. So I can't speak enough of the event. You'll be getting a more in-depth, uh, comprehensive video rounding all of this up, like more of a documented narrated version uh, very soon, hopefully, if I'm able to get the time to get that out for all of you. And then expect uh, when we get into, um, obviously, whenever I can, I'll be making videos on the spotting sessions and the events themselves. Um, you guys know how much I've been traveling this summer. The backlog is really, really rough right now. Um, I have 50 flights documented, uh, dozens of museums model airplane stores, plane spotting sessions. So I don't know when I'll be able to get all this content out, but my goal is to uh, give enough to where, and I'll also be doing annual update videos on the event as we get news. So whenever we have news on the official dates and hotel discounts for the H Hotel, which is where the majority of people stay and it's a really convenient location. Even though it's expensive, it's a really good splurge. Um, We'll be uh, documenting that as well. And I can't recommend it to each and every one of you enough. If you love plane spotting, love interacting with aviation enthusiasts and just having a good time, this is the event for you. LAX is one heck of a place. Um, it's really fun and I can't recommend it enough. Uh, really cool that this is an annual event. Uh, really cool to see everybody contributing to this in the ways that they do. And uh, it really speaks volumes. It's a really fun event. This is my first time going to it. I can't recommend it enough. Uh, again, just the amount of variety with the different spotting locations that you can use and uh, just hanging out with the guys. It's so fun. I can't I can't speak enough on it. It's just it's a vibe. It really is. It's hard to say. Um, you can't really describe it till you get there until you get to uh, see it for yourself. And I can't recommend enough to each and every one of you. Uh, the good news is we have a bunch of time. It's not for another year. So hopefully each and every one of you, if you're interested in going, can start to save money and uh, facilitate uh, resources to be able to do it. And I'll be making various videos on it in the next year until we get there. So I'm looking very forward to it. And of course, airline international another great event i uh, will talk about that in its own designated video at the applicable time so stay on the lookout for that and then oshkosh really fun too so expect a comprehensive roundup video regarding all these aviation conventions and events uh, across the united states coming soon i would love to do that i've been very fortunate i can't believe i got to do airliners um oshkosh and dork uh, dork fest all in one year that's just that's crazy i'm very fortunate and the price was great uh splitting cost really helps guys i'm telling you it's it's big so uh spot lax very fun event i can't recommend it enough to each and every one of you expect some more videos on it to come but uh it's a really fun event really really cool can't thank everybody enough that contributes to it. I'm really excited for 2024. It's going to be absolutely awesome. This will be the 11th annual event. Expect a bunch of documentation to come on it very soon as we get information. But uh, yeah, start saving now if you're interested. I can't recommend it enough. It is a great time. Expect more great content to come on it very soon. And I hope each and every one of you are excited for it. But nevertheless, that'll do it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. My name is Dredger of Aviation. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Take it easy, everybody. Stay safe. Trust the process. Do you love and love you do, man? I'm Dreader of Aviation. I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon as Dreader of Aviation is signing off.